Today, we're talking a protein that is actually okay for a lot of lactose intolerant people. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to 7 Star Fitness. My name is Keegan and today we're doing a review of Athletic Alliance's Hydro Pro Hydrolyzed Protein. Uh, it's a protein that uh, apparently has been around for a while. Athletic Alliance has been doing a lot of business, I believe through GNC uh, for a number of years, but recently they've started crossing over into more stores uh, and so their exposure is starting to grow a little bit. And I think that's only gonna be a great thing for, for their brand and for the product and for fitness enthusiasts uh, all over Canada, especially. Uh, now, I have been a big fan of this protein since I first saw it come into the Popeyes that I work at, and it is definitely one of those proteins that has captured my heart, mostly due to the fact that it happens to be, like I mentioned in the intro, good for me, a lactose intolerant person. Now, usually, like you might have seen in previous reviews, I have to take a lactose pill before I drink a protein shake, usually. That's usually the case, but not with this particular protein protein. Now, today we're going to be reviewing this a little bit differently than we usually do. I'm not going to do it in the same sort of style with like the sort of methodical way I've been doing it up to this point in time. I'm going to experiment with something a little bit different in terms of format. We're going to try this time just a sort of freewheeling approach to it where I can kind of just talk about my thoughts about the protein. I still have some here, but I've already sort of run through all of my criteria and given the score, which I will share with you guys at the end. And of course, give it a final score like we usually do. But that being said, let's get into this and just sort of talk about this protein. So some of the things that really attracted my attention to it first and foremost was the fact that they were really trying to harp hard on the fact that this was for people who had sensitive stomachs and I'm always wary whenever I'm told especially by anybody who happens to be a salesman if they have that sort of slick talk they immediately get apprehension for me at least if not full-scale disbelief and I will cross-check literally everything they say uh, point is they said it was for people with sensitive stomachs and they said that they developed this specifically to try to help people who uh, had Crohn's disease uh, and other gastrointestinal issues uh, lactose intolerance being amongst their list of things uh, and I mean that caught my attention so uh, like I do with a lot of proteins that are supposed to fit in this particular category of it's okay for people who have lactose intolerance or who are sensitive to lactose I ran it through a test just to kind of see if my stomach could handle it I have a bit of a hair trigger for lactose it doesn't really stay consistent some days it's like I'm okay but it's not so bad but other days it's like immediate just absolute gastrointestinal destruction just a thermonuclear bomb in my stomach so i don't like to play that russian roulette game when it comes to protein i drink it often enough that i can't afford to just have a random moment where whoops all of a sudden that's the end of the day for me it's a wrap let's just end everything that's going on right now it's time to get home and spend the rest of the time on the porcelain throne so with that being a thing, I need to be pretty cautious. And so I ran this through my test to make sure that it was something that my stomach could handle. And I found that I could drink it without a lactose pill and be fine. Now, part of the reason for that is that they add lactase into the protein as well. Now, the hydrolyzation process does pull as much lactose as you know they really could out of it. That's one of the goals they were trying to make sure they could really get rid of as much of the lactose as possible. And that'll happen through the elimination of sugars because the lactose is a sugar. And so whenever you see uh, sugar inside of milk, more often than not, lactose has a lot to do. It's responsible and a great part for that, that carbohydrate count there. Uh, but they added in the lactase just to help with any remainder of uh, lactose that might have been in there and it seems they've added enough that it indeed works at least for me so i was very happy to say the least they also put in protease to help with the digestion of proteins uh, and probiotics to help with uh, a healthy gut microbiome which i mean again we're hitting on a lot of great points here things that i think are really great important or even just tangentially positive for any fitness enthusiast things that someone who's looking out for their health would want to make sure uh, are included in their diet and that they have a good handle on and so yeah i was impressed by this protein and i, I really wanted to you know use it for an extended period see how i felt about it and really since i started using it i haven't stopped i don't see any reason to sidestep like i said i'm very cautious so sidestepping to another protein is a bit of a process for me if i don't have to do it i won't and as long as these guys keep their formula the same i don't see any reason to step off of it now i also happen to really like the the chocolate flavor they think they do a good job one thing that i think works really well for it is the fact that it is more chocolate forward than it is sweetness forward uh, i'm not trying to say the whole it's not too sweet thing because i think that's just a really like basic bland boring 
undescriptive, vague way to describe a flavor. It leads with the chocolate, the sweetness falls back a little bit, and so the sweetness isn't the thing trying to take dominance in your mouth. You actually taste chocolate first, and the sweetness is meant to kind of back that up. Um, that being said, I do wish it was a little bit more forward with the chocolate flavor, just a little bit more intense. It doesn't have to be too much more, but just, just a tad. I know that might compromise macros, and honestly, if they have to kind of keep it this way so the macros stay balanced, I get it. Perhaps get rid of the colostrum, which I haven't really seen uh, a lot of uh, scientific data to back up its its use for an adult individual. Maybe get rid of that and then use that to balance the flavor a little bit more. Just an idea. Uh, point being, it still does pretty good in the taste. The texture wise, it's it's thin. It does, there's, you could chug this super easy. And honestly, I had to try really hard not to chug this. Uh, it can be a bit of a challenge not to, uh, because yeah, like I said, it goes down really smooth. Uh, and that's also because it mixes really well. 20 seconds of a shake, there's nothing in the top of the shaker, there's nothing around the edges, there, it's completely mixed in. It reminds me a lot of the uh, uh, Extreme Isolate 97 from uh, Precision, that, uh, that one mixes really, really smoothly and this is very much the same. So yeah, uh, definitely does a good job on the texture. Uh, and yeah, and, and then the macros are pretty solid. And when we're talking about macros, I mean, it's definitely going to be one of the areas where people might find some pause with it. When it comes to macros, this is one of those proteins that doesn't just deliver only protein and strip everything else right out of uh, out of its profile completely. Uh, there are some carbohydrates in there and there's some fat in there. It's not a lot. I'm talking about two, three grams. So it's like a negligible amount. But of course, there's going to be some people who will take issue with that. And as a result, it's something that's worth thinking about. Um, and so, you know, coming in at about 156 calories, this is going to be something that, you know, compared to the, about the 120 that most people experience it's gonna have a little bit of a, a it might sting them a little bit it might give them pause I've seen it give certain people pause because uh, that can be a thing that people will kind of come down to when they're figuring out what they want to buy between a couple different proteins they're like okay what's the calorie count Ooh, 150 yeesh. 120 121 okay these two are the ones I will pick from so when it comes down to it the score is as follows we have taste coming in at a 3.8 like I said really wish they could push forward a little bit with the chocolate flavor but hey, still pretty good. I'm really liking the fact that it's chocolate first, not sweetness. It means that it doesn't get grating or annoying. Uh, the texture is coming in at a five out of five. The mixture is, it, the mixability is, is easy five. I mean, like I said, just mixed perfectly smooth in there. Uh, and the macros are coming in at a 3.5. Like I said, a little higher on the calories, a little higher on the fat, a little higher on the, uh, on the carbohydrates. And that's the kind of thing that might throw people off. However, I really think it's worth thinking about the fact that they add the lactase, the protease to help with digestion and that makes a huge difference they also add probiotics to help with the gut microbiome it, that those are things that are worth considering when you think about the ingredients and the macros and how this is going to affect your overall health and physique so with that in mind this comes in at a 17.3 for its final score and that is a solid 86.5 which i will of course bump up to the 87 that's a nice solid a very well done guys i am very happy with this protein i think athletic alliance has done a great job formulating this particular product i think we need more guys doing this kind of work uh i, I would say you guys are really on the right track here maybe lose the colostrum push forward the chocolate flavor a little bit more make that a little bit more intense not necessarily sweeter but more intense and i think that you could who would be able to argue with you at that point that would also possibly drop some of your your fat content out which would again drop your caloric value which again that's gonna have people singing your praise probably so with that in mind uh that brings us to the end of the review uh, i'm pretty sure we did this one fast pretty fast not bad uh, if you guys found that entertaining educational informative helpful uh, please throw a comment in the comments below the video of course please like and subscribe to the channel hit the bell so you can be notified of all of our future content uh, i've always got some cool stuff coming i'm thinking of doing a video in the coming weeks about you know returning to the gym some of the do's and don'ts mistakes some people might make how to circumvent it how to make the best possible plan to really make your return to the gym more impactful this coming from a guy who feels like he just got absolutely beat into the ground by homelander because that first workout 
God, it felt good like it was like drugs, but damn, did it hit like a truck. I feel so sore. Point being, thinking of doing a video on that. I took some footage and I'm gonna be taking some more footage of my workouts in the gym over the course of the next week or two. So if that's something you guys are interested in, again, comment section, let me know. I'd love to hear about it. And of course, stay shining because the galaxy can only be a bright and beautiful place if we all shine together. Peace.